Page 103, Joy to the World. On the previous pages, they're talking about whole steps, half steps, and scales. Just briefly to go over it, a half step is the shortest distance between two notes. It's an interval of a second, obviously. It could be, it would be this note and either the note above it or the note below it. Either one, it's a half step. That's a half step. Half step. Half step. Shortest distance, okay? They're next to each other. A whole step, two halves make a whole, so a whole step is two half steps. So if I go here, half step, and this half step, then this is a whole step, because it's two half steps. So it's got one key in between, white or black. So here it's got a black key in between. Here, black key in between. Here, white key in between. That's a whole step. Uh, here to here is a whole step because it's got one key in between. This is a whole step, got one key in between. Hopefully you get the idea, okay? It's kind of important. To, we talk about music, we describe things in whole steps and half steps, so it's important to at least know what they are. And you don't have to worry about getting any bigger than whole step or half step. That's it. Just remember those two things and you're fine. Now, a scale is a simple pattern of whole steps and half steps. And every type of scale just uses a different pattern is all. We talk mostly about major scales. Uh, everything we've done per so far pretty much has to do with major scales. We usually don't say major. We can just say it's a C scale. The major is implied. If we wanted any other kind of C scale, we would have to specifically say what it was. So I'm going to talk about the major scale pattern, whole steps and half steps. It's easy to visualize on a piano. Uh, if you'll remember, C major has no sharps or flats in it. It uses only the white keys on the piano. So if we simply go from C to C, just one octave is all we need because otherwise it just repeats. We can visualize this pattern of whole steps and half steps because we're just going to go on the white notes. So from here to the next white note is a whole step. Then to the next white note is another whole step. Then the next white note is a half step. Then a whole step, whole step, whole step, and finally a half step. So the pattern for major scales, any major scale, is whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. That's it. I can start on any key on the piano, white or black, play that pattern, and I will get a major scale. For instance, I'm going to start here, and I'm going to go to here. I may not know what the key is, don't care. I'm going to do a major scale. So I'm going to go whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. A major scale. I know what major scale it is and I may not know the names of the keys I played but it's a major scale and I can do that with any key on any of them that's it that is the pattern you can rely on it you can take it to the bank you won't get any money for it but the point is that's how it works now when we get to minor scales that's a different pattern we'll get there eventually okay if you haven't I would strongly suggest you go do my video on C major scale. Do the beginner portion. Of course, before you do any of those videos, you really need to watch the introduction video on scales that I did because it helps to explain how the videos work. On page 102, they talk about playing a C major scale, fingering and all that. And the idea is 
try and remember where the thumbs go. Thumb goes in the right hand. Thumb goes on C and F. Okay, and it just... Now, we do use the little finger as a turnaround finger. We, we will use a turnaround finger when it's a white key we're turning around on. Now, if it's a black key we're turning around on, we don't use a turnaround finger. We use the actual finger in the scale. I need to point that out because it gets confusing sometimes. So, for C major, it's thumb on C, thumb on F. So just bring the thumb under. I'm just bringing the thumb under is all. If I want to keep going, I'll put the thumb on C. Remember the thumb on C and F. For the left hand, the thumb plays C and G. Now, again, the little finger we use as a turnaround finger because it's a white key and we can do that. So we're going to have, go ahead and start with a little finger. Typically, it'd be the thumb, but we'll go ahead and start with a little finger. Put the third finger on the A. We use third finger on A because that puts the thumb on C again. We want the thumb on C and G. Etc. And that's how the C major scale works. In Joy to the World, uh, it's a classic example of when teaching scales people use because the very first phrase is a C major scale. Take a look at the first few measures. It's here. All I gotta do is add the rhythm for the song. the only difference. So it's ideal for uh, trying to teach and understand a, a C major scale. I could use any scale. I could you know put this in that key, whatever the key is, and the, the first few measures is going to be a scale going down, a descending scale we call it. For Joy to the World specifically, they are introducing a dynamic sign called fortissimo, FF. Or some people say Feel free to play it loud. You'll see it here on the second line, second measure. On the dotted half note, very loud. They, this is like the loudest part in this whole piece. And it's a, it's a fermata, so you're going to hold that, for, or I'm, with a metronome, I'm going to hold that for six counts. And the idea is, if, if I start at the beginning of that phrase, and that would be the next to the last measure of the first line, just the right hand, I'm, I'm already loud. And then I'm going to get louder, and then louder, and you get very loud. Now this isn't as loud as you can get, because there's louder than this. This is just very loud. Now it helps to bring out the crescendo, because there's a, you see the hairpin, it's a crescendo. It helps to bring that out if you'll start a little softer than loud, just maybe a medium loud or even a medium soft. I don't know that this piece really ever gets to a medium soft, but a medium loud, because that gives you more room to get very loud, see? So uh, you can experiment with your loudness and see what you think. Follow the fingering they've got, because they're basically using the fingering for the C major scale, and it's a good fingering. The melody goes from hand to hand. You'll just have to, whatever it is, you bring out the melody, right? The melody's louder than the other part. Uh, Rhythm-wise, hopefully you're getting dotted rhythms by now. If not, please go back uh, to where they're introduced and try it again. With the, try to understand dotted rhythms. There may be other videos on YouTube that explain rhythms, and maybe they can help you out. And again, we want to be accurate on how long we're holding the notes down. So, in the left hand, be accurate on those chords and things you're holding down. Take a look at the third line, second measure. Left hand has a dotted half note. You're going to hold it down for three counts. So, you're going to lift it up when you play the first eighth note in the right hand. So, it's here. Right when you play that eighth note, you lift the hand up. 
the next measure you're going to lift the left hand up a little before you play the F so we get a complete silence I mean the pedal's down and it's all done but you still got to do the hand at the right time and the last measure the third line same thing you lift the left hand up when you play the first eighth note and the last line second measure going to lift the left hand up when you play that A, the last beat in that measure. So be accurate how long you hold those notes down. There is a little bit of pedal in this and since you're relatively new to pedal I'm going to go ahead and show it. At first I was going to leave the pedal out because we don't really need it. it. It's not used enough in here to really count. When you push the pedal down and when you lift it up is important so please don't take it for granted so let's go over where the pedaling is and where it happens in the second line second measure I'm going to push the notes down and then push the pedal down immediately after and I'm going to lift the hands and the pedal together right before I play the quarter note C in the second measure because it's between a phrase and I want some silence there, so it's here. And when I'm ready to go on, I... right? In the third line, third measure, I'm going to push the pedal down right after I play the notes. And I'm going to lift the pedal up right before I play the first eighth note because it's a different phrase and I want a break. I want a little bit of silence before I go on. So it's this. In the fourth line first measure, same thing. I'll push the pedal down right after I play the notes and I will lift it up right before I play the first eighth note in there. So I get a little bit of silence between the phrases. At the end, the very last measure, I'll push the pedal down right after I play the notes and I will lift the pedal up with the hands at the end of four beats. So it is one, two, three, four, off. It all comes up together. And that's how the pedal works in this thing. Now your hands will move around a little bit in here because again with a scale you're moving your hands around anyway, right? You're crossing over the thumb or passing the thumb under. So they will move around. I don't know that I really need to point out all the hand movements. Just follow the fingering they've got and work it out. At the end, the last line in the second measure, look at the right hand. You have a C here. You're in this position. You have a C here. You're going to reach up while holding that C down. Stretch out. And play the high C. Connect them, right? And then once you play the high C, you clap your hand because you don't need that low C anymore. Okay. Let's try this out and see what happens. It's 4-4 four, four time. It says joyfully. We're going to play it slowly. You can do it joyfully on your own. Uh, give us four counts. One, two, ready, go. Six.